Hey guys, what's poppin'? It's Waves here with another banger. So, since the straw pool I made, I saw a lot of you guys still want some more League content besides all the Fortnite I've been uploading. So, guess what? Your boy is going to be bringing you a lot more Lee content. Well, to be fair, I'll try to balance it out for the Fortnite boys. So, yeah. Today we'll be talking about top 5 mid lane champions that are the best in the current meta. It is going to be a lot more assassins than usual, which is what you boys like, but I'll make sure to include everything for the hipsters as well. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyways, enjoy. <laughs> So it's the patch 8.15 and a lot has changed. Meta now promotes assassin like playstyle in the mid lane and the new Akali just came out. Like the other day I saw her bursting down a tanky ass Malphite like a degenerate he is. Which is definitely not okay but besides that let's get right into the 5th spot and that will be Malzahar. The reason I've chosen him for the 5th spot is because of where the current meta is right now. It's more about roaming and mobility, but if we're talking about the lane pressure, Malzahar is your guy. He counters the current top picks, which are some of the assassins that I'm going to mention later. If you're fairly new to the game or to the mid lane, it's safe to pick Malzahar since he's not a rocket science champion, meaning he's not that hard to pull off. He has a decent amount of CC, which contributes to his supportive qualities, meaning he's most likely not going to be the star of the game, but someone supporting the star, if that makes sense. If you don't have much carries in the team, I would definitely not recommend picking him up. But if you do, Mazahar would definitely be a great choice. What you usually want to do and what you can do is engage fights with your ulti. You're also pretty safe in the lane and against all ins, which is pretty much what assassins do. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that you have a fairly low mobility. And that means if you miss position, you're probably effed buddy. Afterwards, we have our fourth spot, and that is Zed. He's also pretty damn strong right now, however, the reason behind the fourth spot is because he's also one of the most banned mid laners at the moment. Zed is an assassin with a high playmaking potential, which is probably what most of you horny boys want. You can go on and make insane plays, put it in your clip, you know, the usual. But for real though, the reason why you should be playing Zed when he's not banned is because of his insane snowball potential. Before Zed had a weakness and that is armor but due to the tabby's nerf, he doesn't fall off as hard as he used to. Also we are finally seeing 80 carries in the bot lane again which is a super good thing because you can just one shot them. The way you want to play Zed in the lane is to harass until level 6. After you get it, you want to let the minion wave push into you so you have more space to work with while you're chasing that poor Lux and assassinating her with your ulti combo. Pretty sad indeed. Later on, you want to split push and try and catch squishy opponents while split pushing in the fog of war and stuff. In the team fights, you basically want to be assassinating high threat targets, which is mainly an objective of every assassin, and it's actually quite easy to do as Zed. Would I recommend this champion for newer players though? Nah, I don't think so. I think if you're newer and you want to play something like Zed, you should be picking a champion that's on our third spot, and that is Talon. Voila! Talon, my boys, deserves this spot thanks to his damage buffs he received few patches ago. I look at him kind of as an easier version of Zed. So if you're not experienced with Zed, I really suggest you to take a look at Talon first. You will adopt a very assassin-like playstyle, which will allow you to get used to Zed much quicker. Also to note that Talon is counter to the new Akali, which we'll be seeing a lot more now. Also a good thing is that his ban rate is not that high and that will allow you to play him much more which equals more knowledge I guess. The way you want to play him is pretty straightforward. An assassin type of playstyle, you come in, bam bam bam, rip AD carry, rip mage, you go out, recall, come back and do the same and you Gucci. For the people that didn't understand, I just try to be funny, okay don't judge me. Your objective is in the game to assassinate things, but not just anyone. You're going to have to prioritize targets 
who does most of the damage, how tanky they are, what's their CC capability, and so on. You get the point. Throughout the laning phase, you're gonna have to look to push in the wave and roam down bot to get some kills and give any advantage you can to your team. That would be pretty slick. After that, when the late game comes, team fights and so on, you can just ulti in, um, get the kill. You're a bursty type of champion. This shouldn't be too hard for you and escape. Look for walls, I don't know, just uh, use your mind and be creative in that way. Also, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will be asking about Akali and I have no clue about her. I've never played her and I don't think I'm going to be able to play her anytime soon since her ban rate is like 10%. So pretty much she's either picked or banned and I've seen her win rate being pretty damn low due to people not knowing how to play her. So if you were expecting to see her in this list, sorry buddy, she ain't here. Next up we have Ari. This one goes out to all my girl gamers and people that dislike playing casual assassins. I made sure to have some candy for you guys as well. Because Ari is in a pretty good damn spot right now. She's definitely one of the safest picks you can pick in the mid lane thanks to her mobility, her CC and the Q. Still, it's unfortunate she's an assassin type of mage, but at least it's a bit different with her. Her charms last longer now, and if it hits, especially later in the game, it's deadly. So no matter how behind you get with Ari, you'll always be useful to your team thanks to the CC you have. And in my opinion, this goes out for every champion that has some form of a decent CC. You'll always be pretty much useful to your team no matter how behind you get. Also, when I mentioned she's a safe pick, I also meant in a way where you can really get countered as long as you play safe, which means you can blind pick her and not bite your nails while doing so. What a beautiful champion. Anyways, you guys, I just want to say that I'm going to try my best and upload every second day for fuck's sake, excuse me, but I, 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 I love you guys. Thank you a lot. Thank you so much for the support. You my squad. If you want to see more league videos and if you like this video in general, make sure to sub to your boy. Click that bell. So every time I release some cancer stuff, you come and command something lovely and then we have sex. But besides that, I really appreciate the support. Honestly, man, like I just yes thank you and the number one spot goes to the cancer oh yeah we've been waiting for this one fizz this fish ain't kidding no more we are at the point where fizz is not even being banned that much and he's just crazy insane you guys remember how in the past you actually needed to do a full combo in order to kill someone well say no more riot games now enables you to not even ulti and kill someone with only your e besides that not gonna lie fizz has kind of a hard time in the lane as most of the assassins do you'll have to wait until you get your fishy fishy and then you'll have a pretty good chance to snowball on a serious note fizz has a pretty good kit giving him invincibility which will allow you to dodge quite some things including many ults in the game also has a great escape slash mobility cc good burst damage and great roaming potential like what else could you want in a champion this guy literally needs a submachine gun on his back that will make him ranged and that's it game over buddy anyways it will take some time until you learn how to play him properly learn the combos but it's not something hard to pull off and also you'll have an easier time farming thanks to his w so that will definitely help you survive pre-6 and then pretty much you'll uh, pop off and now i'll throw two honorable mentions to you guys and the first one is going to be zoe reason being is that she's still pretty strong even after the nerfs her combo still one shot squishies her bubble is useful at any point of the game and since it travels so fucking much if you throw it over the wall it also gives a very good ganking potential Pretty good and a fun champion to play overall and I definitely recommend it. Afterwards we have Aurelion Soul. I would not recommend playing this champion unless you're planning to one trick him. Reason being is that his playstyle is so unique and requires a lot of confidence which is what we gold players do not have. Also as I said like 300 times it's an assassin meta and assassins like Zed 
don't really have a hard time against this big booty dragon so before picking make sure to watch out for those anyways guys that will be it for today as i said expect many uploads i've been lazy as hell but the boy's making a comeback make sure to comment what other league videos do you want to see in the future because i'm out of ideas kind of i'm thinking on making a draven guide and afterwards a zed guide or something like that maybe we'll see but make sure to drop down a comment and let me know what do you guys think and what do you guys want to see in the next league video and also for the fortnite boys don't worry there's a lot of content to come as well and yeah pretty much that's about it love you all and thank you